No, they're not cooperating right now. They have attorneys right now. Welcome to Reporter Room, where we seek truth and justice. My name is Jessica Della Davies. I'm an investigative journalist, and today we're going to discuss the latest search by authorities for missing child Summer Wells, and the fact that Don Wells and Candace Bly have decided to lawyer up. Everything I'm about to share with you is my opinion, and opinions are not facts, so please don't send any negativity to anyone, anytime, anywhere. Let's be kind and good to each other. Before we go any further, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so I know you were here. If you want to help Reporter Room grow, the best way is to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and please consider watching some of my other videos. This helps us greatly in the YouTube algorithm and it's free and it really helps us out a lot. On Monday, law enforcement ramped up new search efforts for Summer and they were using dogs to help with the search. Summer has been missing since June 15th and both Dawn and Candace have claimed that she went missing from inside their home on Ben Hill Road. Now, although Candace was sitting on YouTube this week, complaining about not being kept informed, we are learning that Don and Candace have lawyered up. Listen to this. No, they're not cooperating right now. They have attorneys. As you heard, Hawkins County Sheriff Ronnie Lawson on Tuesday revealed that the family of missing Summer Wells is, quote, not cooperating right now. Then, Lawson stated that the family, quote, has attorneys, as in plural, which means more than one attorney. So what has sparked this latest search for summer on Monday and again on Tuesday? Were either Don or Candace cooperating with authorities and then one of them stopped and got lawyers? If you haven't watched my video scripting, Candace forgets the script, you will want to see this because it details information about how statement analysis Peter Hyatt is concerned that the parents may be coordinating their stories. I will link this for you in the description below. We know on Monday that TBI and sheriff deputies conducted a quote small scale search in the Beach Creek area. We also know that they used dogs to search. So they continued searching on Tuesday. What we don't know is what triggered this search. Was it planned or was it triggered by a lead in the case? Authorities are keeping the information under wraps, only stating that, quote, teams have been focusing on previously identified areas of interest. Meanwhile, Candace is appearing on YouTube to complain that authorities are not keeping her updated. Really? Can she not pick up a phone? Does she not know how to dial the phone to contact authorities? If your child was missing, would you be calling regularly to request information updates? Or would you be sitting on YouTube complaining about the people who are out searching for your daughter? Is there a more nefarious reason that Candace will not reach out to authorities and does it have anything to do with the fact that Don and Candace have allegedly lawyered up? The fact that they've suddenly lawyered up suggests to me that authorities maybe had the cooperation of one or both of them. It does sound like someone may have been cooperating and maybe this triggered the search, but we can't be certain. And to be clear, everyone is entitled to an attorney and everyone is entitled to the presumption of innocence. But you can't have it both ways. You don't get to sit on YouTube complaining about the people who are out there looking for your daughter, the authorities who are out there searching for your child when you won't cooperate in the search for your own missing daughter. Sheriff Lawson's office and the TBI need to be credited because they have led multiple search efforts to find Summer. What do you think about the fact that Don and Candace ran to go get lawyers instead of cooperating in the search for their own child? Subscribe and please leave me a comment.